Alright guys, welcome to another coding bad Java problem. It's going to be another functional 2 problem, square 56 or square 56. The problem reads, given a list of integers, return a list of those numbers squared and the product added to 10, omitting any of the resulting numbers that end in 5 or 6. So let's look at the first example. I'll draw it out actually. The first example gives us 3, 1, and 4. So we'll put 3, 1, and 4 equals First, we have to square these numbers, so let's square them. So 9, 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 times 1 is 1, and 4 times 4 is 16. Now we got 9 and 1 and 16, and then it says to those products added to 10. So we're going to add 10 on each of these numbers, which will give us 19, 11, and 26. Now it says that we have to omit any of the resulting numbers that end in 5 or 6. That ends in 9, so that's okay. That ends in 1, so that's okay. But this one ends in 6, so that's not okay. So we're going to be taking that one out. So the resulting uh, array that we're left with, or list I mean, or same thing, but the resulting list we're left with is 19 and 11. Uh, uh, so, yeah, so, uh, let's start coding it. So the first thing we have to do is square the numbers. So we're going to be using functional API again, which makes use of lambda and remove remove all and remove, or sorry, remove if and replace all. So let's do nums.replace all, since we want to change everything in nums, and then call n as a parameter, and then do n times n. Let me space it out. That'll basically get n, which is a number in nums, and then replace it with n times n, which is the squared version, which is what we need to do. And then we'll call nums that replace all again. And then we could do this, this hypothetically, we could do n and then do n plus 10. But if we want to consider space, we can just we can just do this all in one operation up here. So n times n, and then add ten over here. So we could we could get rid of this, or we could split it up. But like, like I'll just consider space and put it all in one line. And then now we have to omit any of the resulting numbers that end in five or six. So I'm gonna do num stop remove if n. Let's call it n again. if n mod 10 mod gets the last digit if you mod it by 10 it'll always get the last digit since mod is uh the remainder equals equals 5 or or n mod 10 equals equals 6 return nums and that should work so thank you